to the shed when you agree your customer if you've got an experience of your customers they need to be shared so that if there's any best practice if there's any best practice then you can develop on that best practice All right. there's a guy by the name of um, Richard Bandler and he looked at some of the uh, the best communicators in the world therapists and people that dealt who knew how to create change within people and they watched tapes and tapes and tapes of this guy his name was Milton Erickson there and he was a hypnotist they watched loads of tapes of him and they modeled on success they modeled on how he communicated all right so what I'm saying to you here is if you want to uh, improve your services it's about learning from that customer experience and modeling on what's right not just what's wrong because whatever goes wrong is feedback to you so you know when you were children when you were children and uh, I don't know whether you recall learning to walk how many times would you have fallen down you tell me many times but you didn't accept it though did you don't appreciate the fact that we're walking now do we we don't appreciate that so in terms of getting things right and getting things up and running from that customer experience to be shared verbal conversation with customer on phone there's nothing no harm in doing that all right so you're learning about what your customers needs are your feedback survey questionnaires you'll have a feedback for me today I'll say well tell me a little bit about how I did today uh, or did I give you information that was of value to if you if you don't think it's valuable then say it all I'll do is I'll reflect on what you've said and I'll go away and change my course if I need to uh, reflection on new systems if you've got new systems in place use what works reviewing what's going on if you have a complaint yeah, I don't believe in failure what I do believe is in his feed, his feedback. So if you say, "I'll well, just fe that's feedback to me," it means I need to change something to get it right. Okay, organisational policy and statement. Okay, and then we have problem solving. Sometimes you'll sit in a group. We used to work with uh, kids that had mental health problems, young people, um, and we'd sit in a room, all the professionals, and problem solve. Not so we can find out who's right, so we could find out a more effective way of working. So, for example, I had insight. Now, one of the kids that I worked with, was uh, he had some severe problems, mental health problems, and people would go out and to pick him up, and he'd spit on them. He was 16 years old, and his granddad was his dad, apparently. I knew that, he didn't know that I knew that, because I knew his case history. However, when, when you go out and pick him up and you say, well, how's your day been? He'd spit on you. Or he'd go, why? He'd raise his voice to you and get angry. So he hated questions. And we'd see him. Uh, I'd seen him inside a youth justice panel where they were discussing with him his behaviour. He'd committed a crime. He'd pulled a knife on his neighbour. And they asked him his name. Guess what? He lost it. He lost it there and then, looked over and lost it, got angry, growling, really, really, really angry. I've seen him in a police uh, interview room where the social worker walks in. And you see his eyes go. He used to watch Paranormal back to back. But I had some insights about him, so I would share those insights. I would talk to him in a different way to how they talk to him. So instead of... For example, what I would do is, uh, instead of asking him a question, I'd say, guess what happened to me today? And you know what? Automatically, rather than asking a question, he'd get curious about what I'm saying. I wouldn't tell him straight away. I'd pause for a bit and then start telling him in little bits. Just get that curiosity going, keep it going. And that would open him up. And it, we, it, within three months of working with him, he was... Um, He's wearing suits and ties and shirts and it changed, dramatic change around. And that was as a result of customer feedback. But the other 
staff members needed to know that little strategy. So sharing that information, um, corrective measures to put things right. If something's not going right, put it right. Empathizing. What's empathy? Have you heard the word empathy before? What is empathy? We have covered it today, by the way, but you don't realize you've covered it. What is empathy? If somebody empathizes with you, Very powerful. Okay, very good. They feel the same way. All right. I keep this stamp because it's always me that's saying stamp, and I've done it all week, man. That's why I just said this. Okay, no, right. Huh. All right. <laughs> you can say, all right. <laughs> but that, you know what you said? You've hit the nail on the head straight away, which is feeling the same way. If you can learn to feel, we can't, it's impossible to physically do it. But we've, did it, we've done it this morning. What statement did I say earlier on this morning constitutes empathy? What statement did I use? I mean, how you feel. All right. Okay. What about I understand what exactly what, what you're saying. I understand exactly how you feel. Yeah. I understand <coughs> what you're saying. You However... Yeah. Now, for example, I'd get like I've done a lot of security work in the past, twenty five, thirty years. Uh, I've got a different. I've got a different different type of background as, as well as with the teaching. Uh, I'd get customers come to me and they'd say, uh, "Can't come in." Excuse. Well, I'd say, "Well, I'm sorry that you can't come in. I understand how you feel. They tell me the problem. I understand how you feel. What I would like to you to do, however, is yeah, go home, get change, come back, and I'll let you in for free. That's what I would use as a uh, that's if I was working in, within the security industry and I was, I was refusing someone entry. Obviously, I get the name and so forth as well, so I know who they were. But that is what worked. When you say to someone, I understand how you feel, if they say, no, I don't, no, you don't, which is, no, you don't, yeah, some people do say that, don't they, sometimes. So what I do is I work with, res I work with the resistance as opposed to uh, against it. So I won't resist someone, I'll work with them. All right, now, we've got offices, offers that are, you need to have offers that are irresistible in order to bring in customers or we need to help people. Uh, being accountable, accountability of whoever's working, looking at exceeding expectations via management discussions. That's on the upper end. Th these things need to take place in order to get things right. Why do I use Highfields? The company that we're using today, Highfields, for your accredited qualification, you know what? They are so reliable. Within seven working days, they promised to give me a result. Seven working days. So, and then within two weeks, I promised to get the certificates to me. That's how long it's difficult to take. I don't know any organization that offers the same promises. So that's why I use them. Yeah? They're very, very reliable. Are there people in your life that you use that are very, very reliable? Your mother. Your mother, okay, all right. Your mother, yeah, fantastic. All right, family, yeah, all right. Uh, moving back with family, yes. Do you live with your family or mum or no? no. I'm on the same street, though. Okay, all right. So you're close. Yeah, very uh, close. Too close. Too close. Like best friends, is you like yeah. best friends? All right. Yeah. Good, 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 good. Excellent. All right. Okay. Knowing interpersonal skills and appropriate behaviour for the cust for custom for the customer services environment. So we're going to look at a few interpersonal skills. What I want you to tell me, right, is um, now you can do this in your twos, yeah. I want you to tell me what qualities are required for a person to demonstrate good customer services. What, what's a quality, first of all? Confidence. Okay, that's an example of a quality, but I want to know the definition of the word quality. Anybody? Because you know what? When you are at interview, people will say to you, behavior. what, okay, behavior, uh, let's say characteristics. Mm. Let's use the word characteristics. All right, now I want to know what are your strongest qualities, yeah? Write it down and we'll do it in just a quick sentence or two. What are your strongest qualities, yeah? 
and link that to what qualities would be required or what you believe to be required from, a good, from good customer services. That's if you're going to use it within your work environment.